Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bus City Manager and we are in day three of Valley's Travel. Now in the previous episode we discussed about a particular route that we had done and the timings involved because I mean look at that is yes it's not good is it it's really really not good um but I'm gonna actually let it flow today because obviously in day two I only just created the route so naturally the buses were just individualized for that route now this day I think I might be wrong but I think because of the way the shift patterns will work is they'll tie it with within the 102 so hopefully it should be a bit more reliable today so that's what I'm praying that will happen so if we just assign these shifts so uh 102 102 ah yes there we go see look so look the 100s the 100 and then the 102 so that is actually what i was hoping so for reliability it's pretty good actually so let's get this one out then let's assign one well something yeah 102 and then for this one we're gonna assign this one so yeah that's our first three buses out for the day now, the agenda of this episode is obviously we're going to review the 100s, make some timing adjustments if needed with obviously the rotor change, and we're going to add another service route to our network. And this, I don't think we'll need another bus for this, if I'm perfectly honest with you. I might be wrong, but I don't think we will. Um, as long as I do the timings right, then we shouldn't need we shouldn't need another bus. I mean, like the way the services at the minute run with the timings, I could work something out. Um, but if you have a look at this, I mean, yeah, see, like the you know the one hundred two, you got the 100, 100, you know. So for reliability, this is actually going to be much better for our network. So we're going to keep an eye on these times. So early morning turnout. I'm expecting these buses to be really busy. So um, again, yeah, we're just going to watch it. So if we have a look, there's our first bus going out. So that's the 102. Yes, that's the 102. First to go into Glencoch up by here. <laughs> it's so nice watching your, you know, your company grow in this. It's brilliant. And again, look at the money we were making yesterday. God, that's incredible. So our second bus, that's the 100. And then there's our third one. Now the one I want to keep an eye on is this 100. I want to keep an eye on the time and I want to keep an eye on um how many passengers we we uh we pick up as well because like we were missing our passengers because it was so busy so i don't really want that again um god there's three 102 buses on one 100 that's just just crazy so this is the first service now i'm not expecting this one to be particularly too busy because it's the first service and the first service normally is relatively quiet um, so yeah, that's not too fine. The timing as well is pretty good. So that's good So which means that the timing is obviously caused by the traffic on the road, which is encouraging Here we go. So we're still still on time still bang on time Obviously if this service is really busy and getting battered all the time then We'll have a look at where the service is busy and then we'll go from there because I mean if there's any way that I can introduce like a route that goes to Kilvenev halfway through like the 103 for example which currently is in operation in Pony Breathe um, I mean yeah this that bus was incredibly busy then and it was to do with Kilvenev so I think what might be good is actually creating two routes today um, so this will mean we will need another bus unfortunately but it is what it is you know it is what it is so um, we'll do the 103 first just so we can help out with the passengers. And then we'll do the 104. Which is the route that I'm kind of going to... So there's a route called the 404. Um, I want to turn... I want to do my own version of the 104 if you get me. Um, and just see how it goes. So I imagine it's going to be very busy. Because we are we are actually going to... Um... Oh hang on. Railway. No I can't. I'm so sorry. I haven't got the network capacity to do that. I'm very sorry. Right, okay. Um. So, yeah. So, I mean, it was busy, but we didn't miss out on any passengers, which is good. What's the one like now? Let me just stop it there. So, 24. I mean, so, let's, hmm. 
This is the thing where it's tough, see? Because, I mean, that is not too bad. Now, this is the service yesterday that was really, really busy. So, we're going to see how busy it is. I mean, it's already at war. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot That's a lot of patronage. Um, Let's see what it's like outside Sainsbury's. I mean, there's six people there. Anyone getting off in Sainsbury's? No, they're just hopping on. Same there as well. Yeah. Eight passengers there. God, another six there. So it's Trachlon, which is really busy. And I imagine these are sort of like the school kids, maybe. Um, that's what I think it could be. So yeah, we had to see we, we're going past passengers. So yeah, I think it might be good to have an additional route in Kilvaniv. Like the Oaklands, like you normally do. So we're gonna do that actually. So if I just pause it, we're not gonna make the route active today. Uh we're gonna do it for tomorrow. So, own bus route, we're going to call this the 103, and again, sort of like an orangey colour, maybe, um, like a darker one, just so I can separate it from the 100. So, where is Pontypridd bus station? So, there we go. So, it's going to follow the route of the, you know, of the of the, of the 100, the Nelson. Um, so, if we do that, again, Catherine Street, um... It's going to go over to Sainsbury's. Actually, actually, no, no, it's not going to do that. It's not going to do that. This one is going from Ponypeep bus station. <laughs> God, I can't get my words out then. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then it's going to go straight up Parkview Cafe. Yeah, I'm just going to stop her there. That's going to go up Middle Street, stop her there. So we're going to follow the route of the 100. Here we go. Um, it's that one, and then there's that one, and then there's that one. But then this one's gonna go up Bethu Road, so there's gonna be a bus stop there, and then it's gonna be one at the very end. But there, no. Why is it doing that? Um, I place it but there. Yeah, we go. That's a lot better. Um, and then it's going to go outside the doctor's surgery. No, why are you doing that? What if I make it... But there, there we go. And then it's going to go up to Mary Street. And then it's going to know again. What, this is one thing that drives me crazy about this game is that. Um, and then there's one outside the shop. One on top of the hill. And then we're going to go into the Oaklands itself. If we do that, and then the next stop is it's probably there, and then and then yeah, back down the opposite way. Um, so bus stop are there, and then I'm sure there's one but there. Um, but there, and then they can go down but there, and then this one can then can follow back the route of the 103 on the main road itself. So that's what we're going to do. And then back to there. But there. It's not on park. No. This is the question now, okay? Am I going to make this service go straight down? Back into Ponty. Avoiding Trachlan. Or. Shall I put it through Trachlan? I think. Ideally, I should put it through Trachlan. So yeah, we're going to. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, same route as the 100. There we go. I imagine this is going to be a very busy route. And then this one could go into... Well, sorry, it can go over here. And then back in the body. So, that's a 35-minute route. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the 100 leaves quarter past the hour, if I'm right. So, if we do this at 45, that means then they'll have two buses an hour, I think. And I reckon it should start from 7.45, if I'm honest with you. Um, and then finish. This is it's more or less to help out with demand, if you get me. So, again, it's going to be every hour. But because of this now, it means that... Kilvaniv is going to have a bus route every 30 minutes. 
you know, which one will be served with it by um, the Nelson bus and the other one will be served by the Oakland's bus. So, um, just edit the timetable. So, right, think about this now. So, Monday to Saturday. So, I just, I just want a Monday to Saturday timetable. So, again, sorry, I'll abbreviate. I always do that. So, Monday to Saturday, um, do that. Time in points, time in points, time in points. So, um, we kind of want it up top somewhere. So, let's have a little look. So, Kilvin, so we've got Mary Street, the last Mary Street at the top, then there's Kilvin at primary school, then again. I'm sure that one, I'm sure it's one of these ones actually. I'm sure it's one of these ones. Let me just confirm that for the minute, okay? Um, we'll activate it later. I just want to adjust this bus stop at the top. Because this is the one. Um, if we rename it Oakland's, I know it's this stop. Here we go. So that's great. Um, let's go back onto routes. Let's go on the one of three. Edit. Timetable. So there we go. So we need to get it up the Oakland's. There we go. And then we'll give it a bit of a timing point up there, just so it comes back in on time. And that means this route then should be about, yeah, it's 39 minutes. So probably give, let's have a little think about this. Let's have a little think. Um. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. I'm really, I'm actually really happy with that. Many sadly, it doesn't need a Sunday service because you've got the 100 serving it. Um, so yeah, there we go. I'm actually really interested to see that. So I go on bus routes. So the 100 show the timetable. So yeah, quarter past the hour. And then that one, hang on, quarter past the hour. That starts at 515. And like I said, because this is sort of like a relief. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm super happy with that. Actually, I'm ecstatic over that. And then it comes back in at 0820. So, I mean, what kind of routes if they were to intertwine? So, we can't do any of them. But I mean, with the 103, um, I mean, potentially, see, look, you know, on the four, on the, on the quarter two, on the quarter two trips. Yeah, sounds good to me. So, there we are. That's the 103. Obviously, it's deactivated at the minute. So, let's just click play, get our patronage back up. And as I said, I also want to do another route as well. I also want to do a route called the 104. Um, so again, let's just do 104. This one can be, um, if we stick with the theme of orange. Um, here we go. This one could be sort of like a, like a pale, really pale orange. Here we go. So, this one, again, Ponypreet bus station. We're going to go to Catherine Street. And then we're going to go up to the Grig. So, uh, it's going to go across there, over here, turn right over there. And I'm sure the first bus stop on this road is actually by here. I'm sure there is. Grig Street. No, no, it's not by there, sorry. It's by here. So, Dewey Sand Hospital. And then there's a bus stop then just before the traffic lights. And then there's another one then, if I'm right. I'm sure there's one. I'm sure there's one over there. I'm sure there is. Um, but yeah, we're happy with that. So let's put a bus stop over there, just so it serves this little state by here. Um there's actually a bus stop called the Queen's Head by you, but I don't think the game will make it busy. But that's actually a timing point. Um, we're going to come all the way down here. There's going to be a bus stop by there because of these two farms by here. And there's also going to be another bus stop right by there. And then we're going to come out then by the school. So we're going to put a bus by there. And then another one right by there. And then there's a primary school, I think, somewhere by here, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Um, yeah. Um, let me just make sure I got the right road, though. I don't want it to go down the wrong road. 
you know, so I don't want to serve that end of bather. I wanted to serve this end of bather. So, yeah, across the roundabout. So, and then I'm just trying to figure out where I am in my head right now. So, um, that's Spring Kellogg School. It's also a school over there. So, if I put a bus stop, um, I'm sure. I'm sure there's one there. And then I'm sure there's one by here at the end of the road. And then there's another one then by the school, just by there. And then, I'm sure there's a bus stop by there. Then there's one at the bottom of the hill, which is by here. And then the next stop then is sold by the rugby club. So, come on by here. Again, I'm just trying to envision where I am. Um, I'm sure it's just after the rugby club, so I'm sure it's like somewhere by there. And then you go around the corner, you've got a bus outside Williams Pet Store, and then you've got one you've got one by here in Commercial Street. And it goes all the way down this quite narrow road, and then it comes down outside Lantris and Leisure Centre. And then there's another one then. Sort of I'm sure. I'm sure there's like one right by there. Right, okay, so at the minute we're 20 minutes into the journey. Now, do I want to go to Talbot Green before or after? I would say, I would say before the hospital. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that. Talbot Green bus stop. That will be a timing point, and then we're going to come into the hospital. So, uh, we're going to go, it's a bus stop up there, up by the longbow. And I'm sure... Sure, there's one. No, the next one then, sorry, is the hospital. So there's one there. And then there's one but there. Broadland Morgan Hospital. And then you go across, there's actually a bus stop but there. And then there's also another one just before you enter the junction but there. And then you're going to come back in yourself. And then rather than go back into Talbot Green to save some time, because I've already been there once, we're going to go over there. And then we're going to come back on ourselves. Of course we are. So this, oh, this game is so fun. I love it. Oh, it's so fun. Right. Um, There's one by there. And then, yeah, we're just going to follow the route back. It's right by there. And then again by the primary school. I'm going to put that just past there. And put that one just past it, and then this one's gonna be, um, because I'm sure, because of the bus stop by there, I'm sure this one serves by there, and then we're gonna come across, and then we're gonna come back on ourselves. We're gonna serve all these areas. It's a splendid route. This is. I've personally driven this, like driven this route, and I, I love it. It's a, it's a great route. Um. Put one. I'll just put it over there. Otherwise, the game might not register properly. Um, there you go. It is in the early stage, by the way. It is early access, this game. So, I mean, you know, I'm bearing with it. <laughs> I am bearing with it. Um, I'm sure. Where is the bus stop for this one? I'm sure it's somewhere. I'm sure it's by there. And then the next one, then, is Dewey Sands. And then Tesco Express, Catherine Street, but there, and then back into Ponty bus station. And that's a 50 minute route. So, not for long though, because we need to do the timing points for this. So, um, I want this to be a Monday to Sunday service. So, if we do mon Monday to Saturday, um, again, I would probably say. I'm sure it's 25, the first one. And the last one is 7. I'm sure the last one's like 17, 25. I, again, I could be wrong. I'm sure it is. Um, I don't want to check. Because <laughs> I kind of want to make this my own route. Um, so where is Talbot Green bus stop? So we saw the timing points on you. So Catherine Street is okay. Um, Brink Kellogg is fine. Williams Pet Store, Lantris and Leisure Centre, Talbot Green Bus Station. Here we go. So that's where I want it to be. Um, actually, no, no. Road to the Morgan Hospital. Sorry, my mistake. Road to the Morgan Hospital. 
So we're going to give it a five, well, we're going to give it a four minute lay over there. And then we're going to give it an extra three minutes there. So it's got a four minute lay over. Um, and then when it comes back, um, Landris and Leisure Center, it doesn't really need, doesn't really need any more time than that, to be honest with you. I would say that's fine. It's an hour, it's hourly. So that means it would still come back on time. Um, so yeah, let's do a Sunday service. Um, Sunday, let's block all these off. Now, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Mm, 825, I think, is rather good. And the last one could be 25 past 4, maybe. No, I would say that, actually. It's a, sun it's a Sunday service. I mean, it's a day of rest, isn't it, you know? <laughs> So let's just copy and paste. So it's got the same timing points and confirm it and active bus rate later. So there we go. So great. So just by that, I mean, we've expanded our network massively. I'm really excited to see how the 103 helps. So, I mean, this is a lovely, this is going to be a lovely service. So in preparation for that, we need to employ extra drivers again. I know yawn. And we need to buy some new buses. So, staff-wise. Oh, how are we doing on the customer service side of things? Um, so, let's open that. So, I should have two workers. Should have two. Is it, where, is it, is it him? Come on, mate. You're skiving. Get back to work, please. So, <laughs> come on. I pay you a decent wage. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> cue the, cue the sake comments down below. Uh, right, okay, bus driver, um, skill, skill, um, hi boss, I've noticed that my current sign no longer matches my skills, maybe we could talk about a salary increase, not yet, not yet, um, here we go, so this one, 100, 102, 102, that's fine, let's assign that to this one, here we go, so, oh yeah, let's have a look, I didn't investigate, so there we go, so yeah, look at that, I mean, we left, Almost 20 passengers behind on this service. That is just not acceptable. And then the same on this one. I mean, look at that. That's just terrible. Left nine passengers behind. is It's not acceptable. As a bus operator, you just can't accept that. So um, the 102, I mean, like, that's quite a lot of, that's quite a lot of numbers. Um, but I think right now, I mean, look at the times. It's, it's not even during rush hour. It's not running late. So, um, but look at the timings on it today, mind. These ones. So we compare it to yesterday. So the same journeys. Okay. So um, these two are the busiest ones. So the 0715. So look, that was five minutes late on both journeys. And look on this one, it's only two. So the sort of rework between the 100 and the 102 is actually working really well. So I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, um, let's assign this bus as well. There we go. So I'm not running out of bus, but by the time this one will go out, um, my other three buses should come back in. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Um, so yeah, let's hire more staff. So drivers, drivers, drivers. We need to hire, I would say, let's hire this, let's hire this guy. Um, let's hire this guy. Um, adequately, I would say I need another one. So again, so how many drivers have I got now? So I've got 13. So no, I need another driver. Definitely need another driver. Um, there we go. So that's 14 drivers, 14 bus drivers. So that should be, at, I, I'm hoping that's adequate. I got three mechanics, that's fine. Cleaners, I would probably hire another cleaner now um, because there's obviously more buses. So um, hire employees, training, very friendly, no skill though. Uh, ooh, look at this one, fantastic. That is amazing. Here we go. So if we hire this person. There we go. We got three service employees, which is fine. Four cleaners now, which is amazing. Um, let's have a look at this one. 100, 100. Yeah, see, see, look, like, see, how, see how it variates? That's really nice. So, right. Okay. Let's get some new buses. So, again, I want to get smaller buses for these two routes. Uh, that might be the wrong thing to do. 
but time will tell. It's amazing how this bus is smaller than that one, but yet it's more expensive. I mean, how does that, how does that work? Like, seriously, how does that work? Um, but yeah, let's just get two of them. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I don't know whether to get them or stick with the Opta Solas. Um, it's amazing how. So let's have a look. So let's have a look at the stats. That's what I want to have a look at the stats. So it carries. I, I can't believe that carries more passengers. That's just barmy. That is. That can't be right. Um. Number seat thirty four, number seat thirty three. My God, that's just crazy. Okay, um, yes, I reckon we should get so the range on this is pick a tank. Say what? I'm gonna get these. I am gonna get them because I think they do look rather nicer. If I'm perfectly honest with you as well, so than the other one, so. Again, we're gonna make it white. Um, let's make that black. So it's so bland, isn't it? <laughs> it really is so bland. It's just almost disgusting. <laughs> it's just yeah. Oh god. Um. Okay. All right. I really don't like the way that bus looks. I really don't like it. Um. I'm gonna do let's have a little look. So buy a new bus. Um I could I don't wanna buy the Mercs. I maybe could buy these Enviros for it. Um I mean that could be a that could be a fairly decent shout in all fairness, buying the buying an Enviro. Um I mean this one's a bigger one. So <laughs> Decisions, decisions. So I can't assign a bus yet, so that's fine. Oh God, this is very difficult. I did. Why? Why is choosing a bus so goddamn difficult? Um, we're just gonna have to go for these, ain't we? We'll just go for two of these again. Um, so again, these white. No decals. Decals, sorry, decals. God, people go fuming with me. <laughs> right, I'm gonna stick them. I'm gonna stick these on the back, just like that. And then the same. Actually, no, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'll put it on the back like I have done with my previous buses. So let's make that slightly smaller. Um, that's fine like that. Now the front, I'm actually going to stick if I, if if it allows me to. Just hope it just looks okay. Um. Yeah, see, like just just a bit of a pattern to it, to be honest with you. Um. Let's have a little think. I mean, it's surprising how much this black strip has made an improvement to the front, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm too... <laughs> it's, am it's amazing. <laughs> um, just what a, what a strip of paint can do. It's just incredible. Um, yeah, we'll go for that um, at the front. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm going to save that. Um, I... Valley travel. Limited. Oh, valleys, sorry, valleys. Here we go. Save locally. So yeah, I'm um yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks much better at the front. Doesn't look so bland, does it? The problem is now I'm gonna have to paint all of them like it. <laughs> so great. Here we go. Yeah, they look much better. My god. Jeez, man. No, you can go over there. And then you can go, you can stay where you are. Um, so this bus is 107, so this can be 108. Here we go. 108. And that one could be 109. It's like our Opti Solo brand, you know? So, yeah, 
Yeah, that looks better. It look, does look better with the with the black strip at the front, doesn't it? It looks much better. And I kind of like the um, the city bus manager at the side as well. So that's pretty cool. I, I do like that. I'm quite fond of that, actually. Right, so if we fast forward now. Let's just get this shift assigned to a bus. There we go. So one's come in. So let's just make sure it's okay to use. That's fine. So we'll use that one. If I can, I don't want to use these two buses. So I pre preferably I don't want to use them. But if I have to, I will, you know. Um, right, okay, while all that is fast-forwarding and I'm making money, let's just check how much money I'm making. The timing is a lot better today on that 100, which is great to see. Fantastic. Very happy with that. Um, so one driver, three drivers, one driver, one driver. So that's what, six drivers at a time. So, ooh. I need more drivers, don't I? I do. I need more drivers. Okay. Um, let's pay you twelve fifty. Let's pay you twelve fifty. So that's fifteen. We need one more. One more. One more driver. And then oh my god, you are a delight. You've got a lovely skill and your friendliness is top notch. Welcome to the company, my friend. <laughs> Now, I might make a bit of a loss. For the, oh, God. This is one there. There we go. See little glitch in the game is okay. Um, let's make a street. I'll buy it. Two, three, four. And then we're going to build a paint shop right by here. So if I stick it at the end of there. And then jazz it up a little bit with some bush. There we go. Just giving us some sort of, you know, just making it look a little bit better, you know. And let's just get some big trees. Let's get a big tree there. Um, let's have like a willow. There you go. A willow will look nice, I think. There we go. And then scatter some bushes around. There we go. So, I mean, I got quite a fair few employees now. So... This is going to be really exciting. What do you want? I'm a researcher and desperately need a break. Can I please take them? Yes, that's fine. That's fine. Right, why is... The... There we go. So the waiting time in this room is actually pretty good. It always is when there's two people on. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, One thing I don't like, though, is what I've done with these two by here. So I'm going to move this door over. That door over. And I'm actually going to get rid of that. So I put it back for there. Here we go. And what I can do instead is if I put maybe an aquarium there. Okay. And then um, sort of like I'll just put a binny of the signs. There we go. Just <laughs> spruce it up a little bit, you know. Um, let's put a bimber there for the workers and then let's put a bimber there as well. Oh, cohesion. Cohesion. There we go. Right, okay, Brill. There we go. That's a bit of an improvement. The paint shed, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna repaint all my I'm gonna repaint all these or them like that. Because I mean that just that little strip just makes such a difference and I'm really happy with that. So um clear this inside, that's fine. So this one is out until the late, so let's have a look. So the 100, 102, 102. So yeah, that's the last 102. So that's fine. And then this one is the last but one. So then that should be all my buses for the rest of the evening. So this one, probably get that cleaned and washed. Let's just uh, have a look how much profit we've made today. Oh, look at this. Four minutes late for there. Um, I'm, ca I'm really hoping. Oh, my God. Eight minutes there. Jeez, that is not good at all. That is not good. But could that be because of the 102 as well, mine? So, no, they're all running on time. So, I think, I think I need to edit the timings on this, don't I? So, I do. Um, right, okay, so let's just rename some bus stops, just so I know where I am. Just so I can edit some timing points. So, the 100, which obviously goes through here, same as the other one. Um... Ponsonotten Park. 
Um, this would be an ideal timing point, actually. So, um, let's just put TP there, so I know it's a it's a timing point. And then this one could be, um, a timing point as well. So, here we go. So if I click on that, there we go. It's a timing point. And then another timing point could be, um. Could be Mary Street by here for the for the for the one hundred and the one hundred three. Mind saying that so, Mary Street um, time and point. Here we go. And then Fiddler's Elbow, you know, time and point of Fiddler Fiddler's Elbow over by here. I think so. Um, yeah, I know the I know the slots with 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 that anyway. So yeah, let's have a look at that. The one hundred. Um, edit timetable. There we go. So. Uh, Monday to Saturday. Let's just take a look at these. So, um, there we go. So, Pond Slot on Park, time and point. So, let's give them an extra. So, the latest one was eight minutes. Now, I can't really justify eight minutes, but I will certainly try my best to try and make this a bit more, you know, um, easier. So, Fiddler's Elbow, let's give them two minutes for there. So, how many did I give them? So, 64, 60, so I've given him an extra four minutes so far. Um, let's give him an extra minute of Bob's Green Grove. So, that's 65. And then, Fiddler's Elbow again. Let's give him an extra two minutes there. And then, Pond Slot and Park. Time and point. So, an extra two minutes there. And then Mary Street time and points, give them in a minute there. And that should be an hour, well, yeah, 70 minutes. So copy and paste. Now, the problem is with that is that on a Sunday, we're going to need two buses. So hopefully I'll be able to intertwine it with other things. So that's the hope and the prayer, <laughs> whatever it does, another story. Um, On a Sunday, we're going to reduce the last one as well to quarter past three. Actually, no, no, no. Come past four. No. It's fine. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be nasty. Um, okay, so if we just wait up until a certain time. So these new time points won't actually kick in until tomorrow. So we can't actually look at this until the following day. So, um, so yeah. So, yeah, I'm really happy with these routes. Really happy. We're covering quite a large area now of the surrounding areas. Um... We could maybe look at competing with the 132, um, which obviously the 132 goes through here. So there's one option of competing with the, one, with the 132. Um, but as well, there is an option as well to create the 120 from Porth to Caffili, connecting Ponty with Caffili. And Caffili is a, is a huge town. So that would be really ideal. So maybe the one two zero in the next episode, but um, what we want to do is we want to actually activate these now. So show a timetable seventeen forty five. So we're past the threshold. So let's activate the bus route now, and then the one o four. Let's show the timetable again seventeen twenty five. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Activate bus route now. So tomorrow they will be done. So let's clean these buses. So we don't need to refill them, thankfully. Um, they're quite good on fuel. These ones are so. Um, clean and wash. These two are brand new, so it doesn't really matter about them too. And obviously that's our private hire, so we don't really use that either. So. Uh, let's check out the reviews now. Yeah, they're just they're all over the joint. <laughs> they're all over the joint. It's not. I don't even know why I'm laughing for. Um, I'm really interested to see how the late services are going. So the one hundred. Um. I mean, yeah, just again rush hour. I mean, just look at them times. Just, just not ideal. I'm hoping, so I've given the route an extra 10 minutes, so that should alleviate any issues with any time. Um, the 102, since I've sorted out 
the timing points on them, they seem to be doing okay. So, tell you what, we could look at the one and two as well. So that could be something we could do. Uh, at a timetable. So, oh, actually, before we do that, um, before we do that, we're gonna go through these and outline the timing points. So this one's a timing point. So we're gonna put TP. So whenever there's a time bar, just put TP at the end of it. It'll just make it so much easier for me. Um, because these are actually timing points. So, um. Yeah, I don't really need any time points up before that point. So, as long as it's running on time. So, Tesco, Tesco's extra um, time point. There we go. That's a time point. And then this one down here will be a time point. So, here we go. Cool. So, let's edit that as well. Quite a lot being done in this episode, but it needs to be done. Okay, it needs to be done. So, uh, Monday to Saturday. So, see, look, 70 minutes. I need to really adjust that, don't I? I need to adjust that. So, um, if I just reset all this. So, copy, paste, paste. There we go. So let's just reset the whole thing. So poly bus stop. I don't really want um, a time point in Link Hall, to be honest with you. Actually, um, I could do actually. Yeah, because we'll need a time point up in Link. So yeah, it's ideal actually. So time point up in Link Hall. I ideally, I would want it this one. So this could be a time end point. Always by the shop, Bella. Yeah, I think this one would be better. Um, so yeah, time and point. And then I'll put a time and point on that one as well. There we go. Now, let's go back to editing the roots. Timetables. So let's just have a look. 67 minutes, cool. Okay, right. So when it leaves Poly Bus Station, uh, Tiguan Education Center, that will be the destination. Let's give that three minutes. No, let's give it two actually, because Link is not that busy anyway. Uh, and then the next one will be Ponty Bus Station. Um, let's have a little look. Say now, man. Yeah, Ponty Bus Station. No, actually, let's put it to six, and then it could be on the way back. You can have two minutes there. And then that will be the next one. Actually, no. <laughs> I'm going to make, make up my mind. So, yeah, this could be the timing point. And then the next one will be Ponty Bus Station. So, we can have two minutes there. So, that's an extra four minutes. And then where's the next one? Jamal's Indian Restaurant. So, again, um, two minutes there. Um, Carl Newman and then Tesco's extras, so that can have three, and then College a uh, Kamoy, that can have three. Actually, no, that can have four. So the next one will be again Tesco's extra time point. So, um, extra two, and then that is the timing point. And then back to Ponty Bus Station. So that's 82 minutes all around, which I think is a bit better, to be honest with you. I'm fairly happy with that. Um, and then that could be with the destination. Here we go. Okay. Um, let's, so that's 82 minutes. So how many extra minutes have I given it? 82. So wow, I've given it an extra 15 minutes. Okay. Brill. Great. Yeah, let's paste that as well. So yeah, that will be fine like that. Should be 84. Here we go. 
and this one should be 84 as well there we go um so yeah preview the timetable let's have a look when it gets into ponty bus station 60609 from 0445 that's quite yeah that's quite a lot but it means it'll be back in for that so yeah three buses so yeah i still need three buses which is great so i've been able to increase the time and keep three buses on it so because then that one will do that one and that one will do um that one if i'm right so that one will finish at 0739 and then it could be back off at 0745 so yeah it actually works out splendidly actually um sunday timetable yeah that's great so 9.45, so I know you'll need two buses on the on the Sunday. So 10.09, and then the next one is 10.45. Great, fab. I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. So all of them are done. If I go back into the depot, are they all cleaned? So let's clean them. Um, let's clean them. But the rest should be done. Yes, the rest should be done. Okay. I'm, do, do you know what? I'm really excited to have a look what my new route is like. My two new routes. And I'm really interested to see as well how the routes intertwine with one another. So, I mean, I've got... Hang on. I thought I had 16 bus drivers. Not... Okay, I need to hire one more then, don't I? Um, ooh, let's hire you. So, oh no, I'm hiring cleaners. Am I? Am I hiring cleaners? Oh, damn. I'm hiring... Oh, do you know what? It's fine. I'll hire the next... It's fine. <laughs> I would not make a good managing director, honestly. Um, friendliness. Yeah, that's... Mm, okay. That's, yeah, you're a trainee. You're fine. So, yeah. So, I've got 31 members of staff now. Um, I probably don't need... Well, I don't need four service employees, do I? So, probably get rid of one. Um, who's the most stressed? None of them, actually. But this one's the least friendliest, though. So, sorry. Um, yep, sorry. My apologies. Here we go. Right, okay. So. So. We're coming to the end of the episode, so don't panic, okay? I know it's been a lot. <laughs> that's, a, that's an understatement. Um, but I'm really interested to see how these shifts go. So, um, so this one's going to be going to be just a 102. So that's fine. So let's assign that one, and then let's assign that one. Oh, look at that! The 100 and the 104. Um, so that's the first 100 of, of the of the day, and the rest of them is going to be 104s. Okay, that's good. That's okay. That's cool. And then this one, 104 and 102. So it starts off as a 104 and then goes to be a 102. That's fine. This one, look at that. Lovely. With uh, a 102. Ooh, some more popped in. So yeah, the 102, the 100, then the 103, 103, 103, 103. Okay. And then this one, the 100, 103, 100, 100, 103, 104. Oh, okay. Great, that is great. Okay, cool. I'm really interested to see how these new time and how these new times are really gonna do. So, um, that's quite a lot of buses for the morning turnouts, considering I've only got four routes. But I actually, think that worked out a bit better for us. So it's letting us research now as well. So if I get a solo bus, um, better food. Yeah, let's get some more points. Let's get some air conditioning as well. That'd be really good. Okay, right, let's have a look how our route is doing. So the first 100 should be going soon. Um, I can't remember when the 103, the first 103 goes out. This one goes out, oh, that's not until 7.45. So that's fine. So we know how it goes normally. I'm just really interested to see the times now. Are they all on time? That's all I care about is times. So, there we go. Let's have a little look. I just want to keep an eye on all these. Just 
Keep an eye on the times. Keep an eye on the utilization as well. Oh, I've got to sign another one. Okay. All right. Um, let's assign you. Here we go. So the, no, that's the 102. Okay. I'm interested in the 100. Where are you? This is you. All right. This is the one coming in. So is this the first one? Yep, this is the first one. Okay. Let's just follow it in. Um, the first one is never normally that busy. Um, it, but it, again, it's really busy in track. I can't believe how busy this game, um, you know, just makes track on scene. I mean, wow, look at that. That is... Honestly, that's crazy. It's mental, that is. Right, the second service is going up. And look how busy it is. Oh, God. Whoa, look at the 104. How was the 104 so busy? Oh, my God. That is crazy busy. Wow. Oh, my God. Dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. Oh, my God. It looks like we might have to look at the times on this one as well. It's three minutes later, and I haven't long left. But that is a full bus on our brand new route. I'm really interested to see how the one and three does. That is, and how the one and three and the one hundreds do do with each other. You know, that is what that is what I'm most excited to look at. Now with this one and four, because this serves a high school and two or three primary schools. I'm wondering if it's worth allocating a dupe onto this. Now, for those of you who don't know what a dupe is, a dupe is like an extra bus for the same service. Um, so say like if it's like it, it covers a school and we know it's going to be super busy, we'll put on what's called a dupe to know that it can sort of handle the you know the how busy the route's going to be, the extra capacity sort of say. Right. Okay. That's not too bad at the minute. Um. They're on time. They're on time. <laughs> this is great. So the one hundred three should be starting soon. So I'll check how the one hundred three does, because obviously then if it needs to be, I'll chuck in an extra service beforehand. So because the one hundred seems to do okay up until seven fifteen, that is when it struggles. And it's just them two hours, isn't it? So, so it might be worth a good idea if. Let's come back down now. Okay, all right. Here we go. God, yeah, that's that went too bad. But then see, look at that. Oh, it's just crazy. Leaving all them passengers behind. So. I think it might be worth adding in a service before because this one's going to be the 103. So, no, it's not. It's going to be, going to be the 100. Okay. There's the 103. That's the one I want to see. Um, let's just follow you. This is the one I'm most interested in because I want to see how it handles it. I mean, considering a 100 has only just gone up, like, oh, it's relatively full ish you know um there we go then it goes up there there we go up there and then it's gonna loads gonna get off by her yeah i thought so i thought so right okay so yeah let's edit this timetable bus routes the 103 and then we'll edit it for tomorrow so advanced settings we're gonna make that an earlier one so 0645. So yeah, wow, guys, I'm so happy with this. Unbelievable. Let's just see how much our roots are how much our roots are making already. So the 100s, um, two trips are small in, relatively good. The 102, do I need to say any more? <laughs> Ooh, hang on, look at that. That did not make much money at all. That's whoa, okay. That's concerning. That's very concerning. What was it like the previous morning? 
Ah. Uh, okay. Maybe they bought loads of weekly tickets. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um. One hundred three. The first route did eighty five pounds, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Um. So yeah, look, we left passengers behind. That's not good. So. But you'll see now on the next route, we wouldn't have left anyone behind. We have to work here. Thank you. Um. So did he even run? It's not turn up yet. Yeah, that's a little bit concerning. That is, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's it's since I adjusted the times as well. So, ooh. Okay, no, I will look at that. There we go. Go out of the Garth. Don't want the money to go down this because of timing points. Mm -mm -mm. Look at look at that. The passengers are just it's just gone down completely. Why has it done that? That's really worrying. Really, really worrying. Um, let's have a look if any of the reviews sort of point in the right direction about that. Never seen that before. Um, there we go. Let's assign these shifts by here. So, that's our 13, 10. So if we do that one, let's get our new buses out. Do that one. There'll be a bus coming in by the time that's due to go out, so I'm not too concerned about that. My concern is this. Jeez Louise, that is... What's caused that? One or two, one or two, one or two, one or two. Oh, is it because I've got an extra bus on it? Could be. Could be. Damn, that's not good. Oh my god, it's like no one using them. That's got to be a glitch. That's surely got to be a glitch. It's like, yeah, there's like no one using them at all. And the 102 is my serious moneymaker as well. So that's really concerning. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm still making money on it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not making as much money on it. Is it because the route is? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Gonna have to reevaluate that, anyway. So yeah, we're gonna have to. Um. Okay. Is my company falling apart? I hope not. That one's already assigned, so there should be buses coming in soon. So. Here we go. See, look. So that one, I'm going to sign to that one. These ones are out until late anyway, so. Here we go. Do I need to get another bus? Time will tell. Time will tell. There we go. No, I don't. I don't need to get an extra bus. And this one should come in when the next out of service route comes in. So that'll be good. I'm slightly worried about that 102. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really worried about that. How can the passenger numbers just decline straight away? That's. It has got to be a glitch. Just. Wow, my God. It's got to be a glitch. Got to be. Um, yeah, okay, all right, um, it's okay, we'll, we'll sort it, we'll sort, we'll sort that in the next episode, okay, 
All right, so yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. I'm not really worrying about it right now, okay? Because we're still making a lot of money. Um, our 103 is making some good dollar, which is great. Our 100 is just, at the minute, seems about seems to be our flagship route. And, of course, we got the 104 as well. Uh, we're going to look into the 102 in the next episode because how can the numbers just go from that, from this? That is, yeah, seriously concerning. Very, very concerning. So something has triggered that. Maybe it's to do with the times. Maybe I've put too much time on it. And the service is just not appealing to passengers. I don't know. Because even that, I mean, look, it's still running. Still not on time. I made no money whatsoever on that one. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the end of the episode. Bit of a long one. I am sorry. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments down below. And obviously, if you did like it, please give me a like so the YouTube gods can sort of send this out. But at the same time, if you didn't like it, please feel free to leave me a dislike as well. I have got Discord. It is linked down below. So if you would like to look at it, please check it out. It's a grown community full of amazing people. And also, I have got Patreon as well. So if you would like to be a patron of mine, that goes really far with me. I would really appreciate it. But just being a subscriber is already more than enough. So from the bottom of my heart, guys, if you have made it to this, to this far in the video, thank you very much. I will see you on day four. Until then, take very good care and bye.